Okay, we're back live. Hey, Jocelyn. Hello. Hi, good morning, Simon. Good to uh, see you. You too. Happy Friendsgiving. <laughs> Friendsgiving. Ah! <laughs> Amazing. I just, before Thanks. we continue, I just wanted to show people that we have some comments coming in. So these are from the last segment. Um, but I just wanted to show people we see your comments. We love you. Thank you for commenting. So cool. really, really appreciate it. So um, okay, well, Jocelyn, you and I have many things in common, but one thing is um, that we both have some secret education experience that some people don't know about. So we uh, we we used to do some theater stuff. It's true. It's true. I would. I mean, I would go as far as to say I was a theater kid. Would you say that about that about yourself? That's like a thing that yeah that people say when you're like. Yeah, I, I I didn't even go to a, like a high school really that had like clicks like that, right? But there's something about like <laughs> like self-identifying with that click. That's that's um you know it's it's nerdy, but it it has like its own it has its own geek sort of thing. Like when you uh, are a theater kid, you're you're still like enthusiastic enough about theater that you can like self-identify. So it's still I don't know. It's what I'm saying is it's both nerdy and like not that nerdy. Cause it's still, <laughs> it still requires that confidence. Like no know. noble nerdy or something. <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely. Nerdy with a purpose. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Which mm -hmm. is funny. I, so anyway, this whole thing with uh, like you prompted us to like, or you prompted me, I don't know if you prompted anyone else <laughs> to write about like uh, our, our theater career as like a past thing. I was so interested in that. And like what I was uh, thinking about it. Cause I, I realized then that I hadn't really ever thought that my theater career like stopped weirdly enough. And I, that was interesting to me too, because I think that <laughs> for me, um, I, I've just been trying to help people. Like when I ask them to be on the show, like one of the things I'll just throw out is like, was there an inflection point of a transition? And I think one of the things that you're, uh, when you, when you talk to me, it wasn't like pushback, like bad pushback, but I was like, well, I mean, I've heard of actors like waiting tables, but like, this is like, you're bivocational. I mean, you, you really are, are swimming in two lanes, so to speak. Do you kind of want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah. 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 So, <clears throat> sorry, I'm drinking tea cause it's early and I haven't like done a vocal warm up, which was another thing that I didn't oh, geez. to have to do. Well, uh, yeah, because that is something that I still will do right before, uh, <clears throat> before talking, you can hear it. I don't talk very much in the morning before before this time. Uh, but yeah, I uh, theater is kind of a funny one to try and like jump back and forth from or like to create a poll with because so much of what you're doing all day is theater that like I, I that that's why I feel like I don't jump out of it, right? Like I in no way, shape or form make money out of from theater at this point at all, right? Uh, um, and that was really kind of, I think what, spurred me to like change my day job right is that I'm just a greedy person and I like like things I have that like uh, you know maybe American quirk maybe not American quirk um and so that was really you know the thing that made me be like you know these people that are writing code around me like I can do that and they're making like three times you know as much money as I am as an entry-level person like that's dumb uh so that's that was what caused me to switch but um and that I don't want to like characterize it as a fake it till you make it thing. I, I don't think that I do that. But uh, so much about how far you get in life or, or anything is is to do with how well you can communicate like what you're doing authentically. And that is that's a theater skill, right? Like being able to broadcast what somebody's thinking or feeling internally to a theater full of people, right? Um, very much translates into being able to translate, you know, what you like to do, you know, the problems that you ran into while you were solving something in like a coding interview or whatever, which is what I do now, not interviews specifically, but before you <laughs> said that though, I, from interviews. <laughs> I thought you almost weren't going to say what you really, what you do yet. And I, before mm. that, I mean, it could have been like selling insurance or like, I mean, it could have been anything. So I'm like, well, yeah. is she going to say it? So I mean, you, <laughs> you are a software developer and you yeah. are very skilled at your job. And, uh, and, and so I think that that's really interesting that then you're, I mean, I, I've, 
I have met so many people, right, that are kind of in front of the camera, so to speak, in one way or another that are like, oh, spreadsheets, oh, tech, oh, you know, I mean, they don't even like engage with that at all. And you're not only engaged with it, you're you're a very, very uh, qualified professional. Thank you. Yeah, um, that was actually a big thing that put me to coding. So I'll, uh, I'll, one of the big like Easter eggs, I guess, in my background is that I got very lucky and right out of college, um, some people that I had worked with uh in, I did theater that had like video editing bent and like we would do like crazy mixes of like a live feed and a fake live feed and try to mix it together and see like essentially what you could pull over on the audience, right? <laughs> um, so I had a, I had video editing skills and um, through like, you know, some people that I had helped in the past, they helped me and like hooked me up with a job at Hulu before they launched the beta. So, I worked there as a video editor for years, really, um, and then moved into like the Q, QC department. But it's really just like uh, there was a crazy point when they cut everybody but three of us. And then the three of us split 24 hours, right? And we just managed 100% of the content <laughs> that came into Hulu for uh, a really long time. And I picked the hours of 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. because I did improv at night and professional miming. I was in a professional mime show. Uh, <laughs> and so I never had a conflict because theater does not operate between 5 a.m. and 2 p.m. They do not. <laughs> um, so that was like how I uh, existed for a, a while, right? I mean, you can only exist like that for so long because the sleep, the missing sleep really, uh, it kills you, right? And then um, uh, I started automating the beginning of my workflow. Uh, you know, working from home, I would kick off a VPN and kick off all of this stuff <laughs> to start going. Uh, and that's really when I was like looking directly at my peers um, who were coding and was like, this is so equivalent. Yeah, like I, I need to make this move. But realistically, you get guided by like, well, what do I like actually want to do, right? Like before you make that kind of switch, you have to be like, what is Jocelyn, right? Like what, where is Jocelyn's trajectory? Um, that's what allows you to like give up, give up, uh, you know, this other thing that you were imagining, right? Like I thought that I was just gonna be like an amazing artist. People would be lining up to pay me money <laughs> and that, that like didn't happen off the bat, right? Like I was waiting like, you know, a, many hours taking days off of doing what I care about to go stand in line for a Sprite commercial, right? Like no, no knock. <clears throat> no knock on commercial actors because that is a hard gig, right? People that book it should be excited that they book it. Um, but that wasn't, I didn't see how that fit into like where I was going. And so I was like, no, no, it's okay. Like we can boil this down more and be like, I just like to make, make things that like really, you know, spark that joy um, to steal a like, a piece of Netflix's trajectory, which is <clears throat> maybe I'm a traitor, but. Well, okay, so you. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going very broad here. Reel me no, in. No, 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 this is really good. I guess my my point that I was gonna make is that um, one of the points of Catch Fire that we're trying to help people understand is that there's these kind of three pieces to your contribution, the who you serve, how you serve, and what you need to serve. And so I think, again, the thing that struck me about you is like, okay, you go, you go to be, um, an actor. I mean, you have an F MFA in, in, in performance. And so that automatically means that you're going to be an actor or you go to medical school that automatically means. And so it's like, there's uh, the, what has for so long driven what people do with the how and the who. And I think what's interesting to me is not only that you've learned multiple skill sets, I would call that the what, but then you, like you were just saying, you talked about who Jocelyn is, for example, and, and how you wanted to then line up the other two, the how and the who with, any one of these what's. I mean, you mentioned video editing, acting. Uh, now you're in software development. I mean, you you make bubbles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have the bubble business. That was <laughs> uh, bubble business is kind of on hiatus right now because I'm starting to run into this cap where I don't have enough time to do all the things I love, which is a separate like time That's management separate. is another thing. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Thesis on right, but um, <laughs> there's, yeah. Uh, I actually think, funnily enough, I've run into this talk about um, like 
what skills that you can use as an actor that go into other careers before, right? Like, I know that there's a lot of people that are that have a big opinion that like actors really make really good lawyers because you do a lot of text analysis, right? You have to read a lot of, or, you know, around your script and like, you know, figure out, uh, you know, what your character wants and then like how you're gonna make your choices about how you're gonna play your lines um, going hard toward that empathy. Um, and then there's also like the convincing piece where you have to work on your essentially rhetoric, right? And so then you you have this overlay of skills where you can really like start to convince a jury if you're going into trial lawyering or or something like that. So I I, I have run into that before, right? And it so it really it starts to kind of take out like how do I survive in the system as it is now, right? And then you can start to break into like, well, how does what I want to do or what I like feel fulfilled doing enact, like how do I change the system that I'm in? Um, you know, how do I, uh, you know, start to lead that, I guess, for maybe for lack of a better word, I don't know. I don't know how this really fits together, but you, yeah, you start to be able to, um, yeah, make choices that uh, dictate the outcome of things. Um, I think when you, and it feels better, like you know how to do that when you're going from like introspection that you've done and work that you've done and thinking, uh, about, about what is really actually driving you. Sorry, yeah. this is feeling, I, I'm worrying that this is like kind of classic mentor. Like if you read mentorship books or like or do leadership books, I, which I do a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, I don't want it to feel trite, right? Um, because it really, uh, <laughs> if you if you do not do this, your life will hurt. And <laughs> and I've learned this, and I know this deeply. Uh, but <laughs> it's, um, yeah, yeah, I guess the people that I'm talking to are not the people that I'm trying to convince to know themselves um, to do it, right? Yeah. They've already felt the rub and been like, something is uh, sucking here. Yeah. I need to, I need to um, really figure out you know, what my next move should be, right? How do you get to that should? What is should? Who decides what should? And it, it should be you. Yeah. Well, we're getting comments that you're fascinating and people want to talk with you for seven hours over beers. So that's awesome. Uh, like that's beer, a I long think. time for me to drink. I do like beer. But I, I would make a go at it, but I'll probably only last about two and a half. I'm just knowing, knowing myself. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's good. Well, uh, on that note, I mean, you, I think there's a lot of intuition in what you're talking about. I mean, you've, you've done some things that you, you might be still learning how to communicate, which is totally fair. And your and then your empathy, I mean, it's just off the charts. And so you're just using those two things to like kind of coalesce all these things. I guess what, what I was wondering if you could do a hot take is looking forward to 2021. And, you know, what do you think is going to make you, what is going to make us successful going forward? I'm going to get that vaccine. I'll, 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 I'll tell it right now. But hot take is I'm going to get that vaccine. I'm an early adopter. I, uh, I, I feel like also that like, even if you're unsure about this stuff, sometimes you got to do it hard, even though you're unsure. <laughs> and, and that's where I am with the vaccine, right? Obviously we don't have long-term data, but I'm going to do it really hard because I think it's better than what is going on right now. <laughs> um, but you know, everybody make your choices. I don't want to be too political. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good question, Harris. I know my time is almost up, so I will maybe, uh, follow up with you later. Cause I know you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Okay. Well, Harris, thanks for the question. And we're, you know, we have Laura waiting in the wings metaphorically, but also actually. So, <laughs> um, Jocelyn, it was really, really great to see you. And, uh, thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>